In today's video, I'm showing you guys how I get ready for the first day of university as a second year student. After finally making it out of bed, I headed downstairs to do some leftover laundry and wash up some dishes which I'd left from the night before. One thing I will say is I've never ever started my university mornings like this, but today I really needed to get it done just so that I felt productive and also organized, ready for my induction day for uni. <laughs> breakfast today i had my go-to favorite uni breakfast which is some granola with some fat-free greek yogurt this is just my staple breakfast which i've been having for so many years um and i just love it it fills me up and i know that i won't be hungry throughout the day with this Then it was finally time to start the day. So I just used this salicylic acid cleanser to wash my face. I was breaking out around my chin area a lot recently and I just thought that this cleanser would be perfect to help combat this. Then I got ready, brushed my teeth, got into the shower and started my makeup.
Okay guys, so I have just done my hair. I'm going to just show you guys my outfit quickly. It's literally so basic, but I do love it. It's just this little white crop top. This is from Zara. And then I've got on my Nike uh, joggers. And I'm probably just gonna wear some Yeezys with it. But I'm about to start my makeup. So I think I might have to put you on the tripod. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on the tripod because you guys can't really see me too well. So, um, you guys would have seen, I've just literally got ready, had a shower, and we're literally getting ready for the first day of university. Um, so I've just moisturized my face. I've just used the Ola Hemrickson um, Brightening Rush Gel Cream, and I'm about to start my makeup. For my makeup today, I am gonna do like a full B, if that makes sense, like, just cause it's the first day. And today is a, um, a full day of lectures it's basically just like an induction so i think from tomorrow it'll be like lectures starting if that makes sense so we're literally only in uni for about two hours not long at all but yeah i'm gonna literally just talk you guys through my makeup routine i feel like i haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in such a long time so um this is actually very very awkward for me but um the eyebrow pencil I'm using is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. I literally love this pencil. I feel like if you wanna do your brows quick, this is the pencil that you need. A lot of them are so tiny, but this is like the perfect size for doing eyebrows super, super quick. So all I do is trace my natural brow shape and then I fill it in with the pomade. So the pomade from Benefit is called the Cabral. I use it in the shade five. My eyebrow pencil is also in shade five. But I thought I'd just talk to you guys quickly about how I'm feeling. So obviously you guys know I am going into second year of university and I'm in a new environment. I'm in a new house, which is just so nice. I'm living with new people. Like I just feel like there's a whole breath of like fresh air in this house and it already feels like such a safe space. Um, the girls that I live with, I literally love. They're just, they're just amazing girls. So yeah, being in this new space, I'm just excited for second year. I'm not excited to go to uni today. Not really, but I'm excited for this new chapter of my life because honestly, I just feel like uni is gonna fly by. Like the fact that I'm in second year, like next year is gonna go so quick, like, <sighs> I don't know. I just think it's gonna be quite a quick process. If I'm already in second year, then I've literally got two years left and then we're done, including this year. So yeah, it's scary. You can see my brows. I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Um, hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Deep Olive. This is like the perfect color for like highlighting and also like my eyebrow shade as well. So being in this new house, honestly guys, like I've met so many people and like, for me personally, I feel like in my first year, I didn't meet that many people like in uni. You know how like they say that uni is such a social, hi. Um, gonna Iceland, uni. Um, no, I'm gonna go to uni now. Okay. Yeah, but do you want me to get you from uni? Then to go to Iceland? Yeah, it'll like, Just text me when, just text me when to leave. Like five minutes before you think you're... Oh. Uh, okay, right, so... What time does it start? One? Ten past. Ten past one. So you think you'll be done by like half one? Yeah. Okay, so I'll get there at half one. Yeah. All right, no worries. That's what I was talking about. And so what I was saying was, I literally met so many people. And like, you know how uni's supposed to be this social space like i feel like it's not really like being like that for me but my second year like i've met so many people not only like subscribers like me and you guys but like i went clubbing the other day met so many of you which was so nice a lot of you have come here for uni which is just insane like i'm so happy that we're all in the same city and we're, and we're all together because i know that like on nights out, I'm gonna be with you guys. And like, I want all of you to have so much fun in your first years or if you're transferring, like I want all of you 
to have the best time like this year so that is my goal if you guys see me on a night out come say hi and it's to the point where i feel like you guys are my friends i don't think it's just the internet thing because i've gone on so many nights out with so many subscribers i've met like and we've planned to meet up afterwards and it's a really nice like positive space and positive energy so if you're looking for friends subscribe to the channel go to Birmingham and you'll see us and we're just such a good energy I love I feel like everyone part of this channel and my 6,686 subscribers all of us we've got the same energy the same vibe the same morals the same beliefs when it comes to everything and when I see you guys in person it's the same thing like it is the same and it's crazy everyone I've met is a darling so if you've seen me and you've met me I love you honestly everyone who supports my channel I love you guys all so much but the past nights out that I've been on I've met so many sweet girls like it's it I'm real actually I'm boys let me not just I'm boys <laughs> so um yeah it's been really really nice a lot of you have been asking me how am I feeling for second year um I don't think I've got an emotion, if I'm being honest with you. Like, I don't feel, I obviously feel a bit nervous when it comes to the actual work, but like I've received my timetable and I've only got uni twice a week and I thought I was gonna have uni so much more, but from September to the end of October, I've only got uni twice a week. Then from November, it goes up to three, three days per week which i still thought i thought i was going to be in uni every single day i mean i would have died but to know that i'm only in twice a week i think is quite good because i have time to kind of do some extra reading um and like prepare for class because i'm not trying to be funny i think unis understand that not everyone learns like in the uni environment some people like um do their assignments from their bed or from their house or from the library so i think them understanding that is a good thing i'm literally still using the same makeup from like 2005 but whatever i think this this part of the video needs to be quite long because i haven't done like an updated makeup routine on my channel in so long so i think this is long awaited if that makes sense so yeah right this primer because i get asked sometimes about my makeup when i want to do my makeup and i want it to look nice I do get some questions. So this primer is the e.l.f. Um, Poreless Putty Primer. I do think it's good. I know that a lot of people say that primer doesn't work, but I do think this, I just shoved that in my eye. I do think this one does work. Um, so yeah, do not be afraid, okay? If you wanna get a primer, a super, super cheap one, this one does work. But I have been doing my makeup different recently. So, Stay tuned for that. We're still using the same products, but it is a different makeup routine. The first thing I do, I apply my primer, I let my concealer kind of sit around my eyebrows um, just for a couple of minutes, just to kind of let it dry down. It makes it a bit easier to blend instead of the product like just going everywhere. Now I'm just gonna apply the Deep Chestnut uh, Concealer. So this color is a little bit different and I use it basically around any areas that are a little bit darker. Um, and like spots. So I've been breaking out my chin a lot. So um, I'm gonna put it on my chin and then I'm just gonna blend it out with my broken Morphe brush, but I'm not chucking this away because it still works. So um, yeah, I am a brush over beauty blender kind of a girl. I'll be honest with you, but I don't know. I just think brushes, they just absorb the product. If I'm going for a natural look, yeah i'll do um brushes i mean sponges if i'm going for a natural look i'll do sponges but if i'm going for like a full beat then i'm gonna use a brush i take the concealer that i use to conceal my eyebrows so this is the shade deep olive and i apply it under my eyes like this and then also on my chin so kind of all the areas i want to highlight and then i take an even lighter shade and this is called tan sand and this just goes literally in the inner corner right here and on the chin like that and we're gonna just let this sit there while we blend out the eyebrows if that makes sense so that this can dry down a little bit use this little brush i honestly all of these brushes that i use i want to say i got from america when i was about 13 years old when i went on holiday and 
brushes in America, I don't know, they just hit different. I know it sounds stupid what I'm saying, but the brushes in America are different to the ones in UK. They're so good quality, this, like, the quality of them is insane. Like I'm 21 and I'm still using a brush from when I was 13 years old, it's insane. But um, yeah, when I was young, I literally used to travel to America every single year. It was just one of those countries that without a doubt, we went, but obviously COVID, has stopped but we are planning our trip to America I just love America so much um, it's just a happy place you know when you think about going on places and going on holidays when you're younger like that is America for me so yeah I love going there um, I'm just blending out the concealer it doesn't have to be perfect because I always go in and fix my brows like for example like I messed this one up a little bit it's fine um <laughs> i'm gonna fix it now so it's all good and i just literally just outlined the the places that i messed up so i just go on the top a little bit and then also at the bottom here dip it in again do the same to this side sometimes like we over blend and that's okay but I like my brows, like still really sharp, like this. For foundation, I'm still using my favorite, which is the Dream Radiant Liquid from Maybelline. This foundation, I just love. I'm not really into the matte um, makeup looks. That's just not for me. I like my skin looking glowy. I like my skin looking like hydrated. I don't like the dry kind of look. So. I literally just apply foundation to the areas that I kind of need it. So like my forehead and just my cheeks, that's basically it. Um, before I feel like I'd done a whole layer of foundation, which just wasn't necessary. Like I understand like it's just a waste of product. And I mean, for the girls that use super, super expensive makeup, you know, you're wasting your money because the makeup that I use is so affordable, most of it. Like, unless I'm splurging, everything is super, super cheap that I use. And I still get questions all the time about my makeup. And I'm far from a makeup artist, you know? So, the products are just good. That's all it means. But, yeah, I mean, some girls love to spend a lot of, make a lot of money on makeup. But that's just not me it's getting wiped off at the end of the day so yeah now i'm gonna blend out my under eye concealer and my highlighted concealer so this brush is from morphe it's actually the morphe jacqueline hill in jh08 and it's basically like a bigger version of the brush that i use to blend out my eyebrows and i'm literally just gonna stipple it all into place so i don't know how long it's the concealer has been sitting there but it must have been sitting there for maybe about three to four minutes um, and it just makes sure that the concealer is just more controlled, if that makes sense. It's not going to go everywhere. As soon as you blend it, I blend it down my nose, down the sides, and I just connect it to my upper lip. And I make sure to blend out the outer corners first and move inwards. Just so that the product doesn't move too much. just gonna put some concealer just on my eyelid the excess uh, concealer that's left on the brush so I don't blend out fully you can see that my nose isn't blended you can see that like it's all patchy like you know you, you guys can see that but I just feel like I don't need to blend it all fully because it still comes together at the end up next I go in with my under eye powder which is the MAC powder in nc50 so this is the studio fix by mac and i just do about three layers on each side on my chin drag it kind of outwards you can see where the color is coming from on my upper lip and just on the center of the forehead on the areas which i haven't powdered i just go in with the NW45 shade, which is a little bit warmer. And then on the sides of my forehead, 
like that. I'm using the Morphe contour in the shade Supreme. I think they have discontinued this, but Juvia's Place has got a really good um, alternative, which is really, really nice. I know Sleek do good ones. Um, Hula Toasted is another good alternative, which I own. Fenty, is it Makamami? Yeah, I think Fenty Makamami, that's another good one. Um, which I love but for some reason this Morphe one I don't know why they discontinued it because this color is insane like I don't know why they would discontinue it because it's gorgeous and when it runs out I don't know what I'm gonna do but with me and like um, bronzer I'm not too like precise with where I'm putting it I kind of just go for the messy look and then I just sort it out after with um some powder like i just clean it up a little bit now i'm gonna just get a tapered brush um this one's from elf i don't know what it's called but again i got it in america and i'm just gonna use it to clean up my nose press the powder back under the eye and i'm just gonna clean it up she messaged me saying, I can't remember really from now. And then yeah. I'll come and do it online. She's like, so. Oh, okay. Fire right, them. Lovely. Damn. What, have you finished it? Yeah, it's done. Oh, okay. Right, let me just finish my makeup. And I'll have them. Damn. That was quick. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. My hair, I know. I just thought, let me just change the wig. I need to wash all of those wigs. No, it's really nice. And I want to like clean my room because it's a mess. I've started like half the hygiene line and I'm like, oh, it's like half done, so it looks so messy. But I'm sorting out all my clothes because all of my clothes are just like Really? So, yeah. Sort yeah. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll be ready in like 10 minutes. All right. Okay. I'm now going to put some blush on. This blush is NYX risky business i don't i think i got this from america did i i don't know if they sell this shade in the uk that's the only issue um and, but i know they sell it in france <laughs> so across the wall if any of you are going to france they've got it in france um i don't know if they've got it in the uk because the uk when it comes to makeup and the shades they don't have every single shade i don't understand at all but blush is now on i do go ham with blush i just like the way it looks personally um i'm now going to just quickly put a little bit of powder on my eyelid and then we'll do some eyeshadow not too much eyeshadow is my dusty ass jacqueline hill i don't even know what this is called the name of it's come off it is so dusty and crusty but basically this was my no alert was my favorite shade but because that's now starting to empty i don't really know what to do so i've just been using like a mixture of all of them and I just chuck it on. The girls that wear orange eyeshadow, you know, okay? I do like a, little, like a couple layers of that underneath. Now, the part that blends our makeup, a lot of people ask me about the setting spray that I use. And if you like a matte look, I wouldn't really recommend the MAC Fix Plus because I think the MAC Fix Plus and the MAC Fix Plus Radiance, they add like a really, really nice glow to your makeup. Um, if you're looking for a, a setting spray that you want your makeup to last with, this is not the one. This just fixes your makeup, it moves it, it blends it a little bit more. It gives it a really, really nice look. If you're looking for like a long wear setting spray, this is not the one. I've just made it clear. I'm not saying that my makeup moves and it slides, da, 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 but if that's what you're looking for, this is not the one. This is just, it just helps blend my makeup if you want to save time. Um, and after me setting it with like all my powders and stuff like that, like my makeup doesn't tend to move. So um, yeah, I've been using this setting spray for years. It's still one of my favorites. Um, so I'm gonna keep using it. Okay, so that's all on now. Um, what do I do now? Okay, now we're gonna do lips and like under eyes and then just a little bit of highlight and then we're gonna be good to go. So, for highlighter, this is the highlight palette that I use. It's the Revolution Soph highlighter palette. It comes with eight different shades. Mine is broken. This is my second one. I don't know if they still sell this actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but 
it's lasted me years. Like, I remember when she brought this out. I don't know when she brought it out. Maybe it's two years ago. And like, it looks like I have not even used it, but I have. Um, so I take this gold color. Sometimes I mix it with that. Just depends on how I'm feeling. I just chuck it in, in a corner. I really think that uh, putting the highlight in the inner corner, it just brings a lot of light to your face. I then do like an exclamation mark on my nose. And one thing I will say is, if you apply your highlight when your face is wet, I feel like it just pops more. So that's what I do. For my lips, I put it on my whole lip. I'll be real honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. This is my makeup routine, so I just do this. Literally, uh, the whole lip, top of the lip line, I just apply like that. Mix the two today. Um, and just do literally just the tiniest bit. I don't really put too much highlight on. That's a bit much on the chin. Center of the forehead. Okay, so that's the um, highlighter done. Up next, I do use white eyeliner. Don't kill me, but I love it. This one's from, is it Rimmel or is this MUA? I think this is Rimmel, but whatever. Um, I just do eyeliner. This just helps me look more awake, to be honest. Um, and I've been doing it, honestly, for how many years? And I just, I love it, so. I do it like that, but I do wear mascara like this to me. I know is scary. It scares me too. The mascara I use is the Maybelline um, High. Is it High? Sky High. Sorry, Maybelline Sky High mascara. This is so good. Like, if you're looking for a mascara, super cheap, cheap one. This is probably the best one in the drugstore. It actually makes your lashes look super, super long. So. I'm not blessed with long up lashes. These ones are individuals that I've done myself. Uh, Remarkable lashes on Instagram, thank you very much. Um, but um, my bottom lashes are actually quite long, which I love. So I go home with the mascara, I love it. And I think the mascara like puts the look together. And I just prefer the way that my natural lashes look um, instead of like fake lashes on my bottom lashes. I don't really like that. Okay, right, mascara's done. I do need to be careful because I don't want to get it on my skin. So I don't really like to look down too much. It is hard, but whatever. Okay, now we move on to my favorite part, which is the lips. So, for the lips, I use three products and three products only. And first one, I'm just gonna talk you through and then I'll apply. So first one, MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. If you are a brown girl, this is the lip liner that you need in your life, okay? Lip gloss is the Revolution Joey Lip Gloss. And then my clear lip gloss, which does not look clear. Oh, do I, I don't even know if I wanna tell you guys because this lip gloss, is what makes it okay i have never used a shinier lip gloss than this one so i don't know if i'm gonna reveal them if i feel nice i'll put it on the screen if i don't feel nice because there was one point they was gonna discontinue that lip gloss because you guys sold it out when i mentioned it like three years ago and since i don't really talk about it too much okay i'll tell you guys okay essence shine 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 lip gloss okay i'm gonna use this done out Super, super blunt lip liner. God. The way it is scratching my skin right now. Oh my God. Lips, are they lying towed like? Mm. Okay. Right, lips aligned. Lip liner, had, has, it's had a little bit of trouble today, but we got there in the end. We're now gonna put on the Joey lip gloss, which I told you, like that. Looks scary, but it will look gorgeous in the end. I don't really blend it. I don't know why I'm doing that today, but now I literally just go on with the clear one. That 
that's the lips. And now, second layer of setting spray. That's the key because this is still quite dry for your sis, okay? This is dry for me. I can't do that. And with the second layer, sorry, I forgot to mention, it's not going on my eye area at all. Like, it's going on the cheek, the forehead, the other cheek and the chin. If you can, like, I spray like this, basically. The first layer, it can go everywhere. The second one is just going on the cheek, the forehead and the chin. So, this is my makeup, guys. And I freaking love it. So yeah, that is literally how I do my makeup. Um, and I've literally got ready for the first day of uni. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, then please make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up. I love you all and thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.